YouTube package. Real quick, let's see what we got. We'll start with this one. From Stylecraft. We got the Stylecraft, the Mythic. This is the newest one that's on the newest one that's on the list. Let's see what these Ooh, these feeling crazy. Heavy. Powerful. Level system clickable. I'm liking these. The mythic. As you guys can see, let's see if I can. Fire. It's the mythic. Fully extended to a one. But that lever. I'm not sure if y'all can see that lever. That lever, crazy clickable system. Heavy duty, all metal clipper. I can feel this one gonna be powerful. I can't wait to use this one. Appreciate you, Gamma, for sending the mythic to me. We're gonna see what these do today in this video. So just bear with me. I'm gonna try to put these joints to use. I'm gonna probably like a five o'clock thing, bitch. Yeah. You want it like low, but still lined up wide as possible, right? Uh, you want it like faded all the way around, though, right? You still want to show like the curves or nothing? You'll be good, man. I started with cold, I'm gonna hit a building there. Hey, uh, me and Tom? Who got you, uh, who got you, man? No. Okay. Huh? How did yesterday come out, man? Oh, man. Matt? Yeah. Yeah, Mike. His birthday. So to kick this video off, I'm gonna go in by combing a client's hair, as you guys can tell. My client got super kinky hair, super tight curl pattern. So I just wanna ensure that I can get this hair as straightened as possible, or get it to lay down as much as possible. Prepping it before I go in to actually fade this hair. Lifting up by the braids area, trying to separate the hair that is twisted up and the hair that isn't, just to ensure majority of the real hair will be cut. Next step is to go in with a 116th guard and it's halfway closed and I'm gonna go in a downwards motion because I'm gonna clip most of his ridge area where the braids or where the twists connect to the hair that's actually cut. Some of that hair is more poofier because a lot of barbers don't actually cut that hair but I wanna ensure that I get majority of that hair down to a desired length before I actually go into my fade work. It's just making sure that everything is completely even and setting myself up to actually fade with the Gamma Mythics today. My first initial step is at the bottom of the C cup. I wanna create a nice clean guideline and wrap it and consistently drop it. Once I get to the top of the air all the way around because it's gonna be more like a drop fade, but because the hair is so low, it's gonna look higher. It's really gonna look like a mid fade, but I wanna ensure that my guidelines is setting myself up correctly so the fade can be flush on both sides. And as you guys can see, using my Babeless FX's, I'm just gonna clear the bulk. And I'm gonna ensure that my guideline is clean as possible and I'm gonna make sure that there's no extra hair under that. Making myself all the way around the head and ensuring that this is a clean guideline from the sides to the back of the head. Super clean. Oh, 
My next step is completely open Using my gammas and as you guys can tell I'm using the corner of the teeth I'm easily pushing myself through this fade The gamma mythics are some of the best Some of the best And I repeat, the best First hands-on clippers, the lever system crazy It opens up to a true one, the hair cuts completely smooth There's only one thing that Gamma is missing with a clipper like this And that's the pinging noise that Andes Masters make You know, the corded version of Andes Masters, how they ping every time you cut hair If you assist us that with this, this clipper will hit and literally be 5 out of 5 for me I drop them halfway here and dropping them halfway here using the corner two teeth for my blade and just bouncing myself around on this phase staying super flush not moving too high but at the same time creating a nice gradient effect so it can be a transition within this side of the fade and I want to ensure that I do this all the way around the head I'm just taking my time and I'm just really focusing on creating a nice blend as you guys can tell it's coming together really clean man and I'm just tapping that lever in between The lower I go in that fade The closer I drop my lever The more open I open my lever The higher I am in the fade So I'm just staying consistent Just look how they fit in my hand Look at the blade I got a fade blade on these two And as you guys could tell Just blending this man life away I'm just staying consistent I'm doing what I love to do And most of all I'm trying to get a client something that they want It's a little bit harder when it's on super kinky hair Cause you gotta try to blend hair And create nice clean transitions while assisting it with a clean tight line so i'm gonna do my best today hopefully you guys enjoy you know the ending result but i think it came out a fire haircut thought it was real different and we put some sauce and some flair on it so stick around if you're new to my channel please like share subscribe comment hit that notification bell to get alerted when new videos come out because i drop bangers weekly right here as you guys can see i'm completely closed using my 116th guard my Babeless guard on those So if you a Babeless fan and you like Babeless guards You can put those on here Or if you a wall fan you can put your wall guards on They snap completely on I'm halfway here and I'm working myself up in a fade And as you guys can tell the gradient effect is coming And it's just getting real ugly now Not completely open And I'm just taking my time And showing that I'm getting a nice transition Big shout out to my boy Jerm Booming Big shout out to my boy Only One Lil Lee They both collab together And that's one thing that I'm liking about my channel Not only are you here flavor from all of my producers but they collabing on certain beats together to get you guys some of the best musical instrumentals that i can present to youtube i honestly feel like can't nobody music on youtube top mine not even the biggest vloggers i think i got the hottest music on the block so if you got a problem with that go talk to my producers because we'll run it any day video for video my producers just amazing man big shout out to my producers they the reason why my videos hit the way that they do and as you guys can tell this side is blended ridiculously on nice kinky hair tight curl pattern like this look really good and i'm just flicking in and out brushing one fade one staying consistent and ensuring that my fade comes together remember i'm starting completely closed with this 0.5 or 116 guard i moved it halfway here and as you guys go tell i'm gonna just completely open it up more and more i get into the higher parts of the fade i'm trying to create nice gradient effect and i want to ensure that the client has a clean clean fade Repeating the same steps on this side And you already know when it come to this side I like to lock in with most of my supporters I just like to tap in Have some insight with y'all Whether I'm sharing something about my life Or where it's a motivational piece or not it's September 15th now, I got 12 days for my birthday And I know a lot of people just sometimes, you know, birthday plans be a little iffy Some people don't celebrate their birthdays at all Some people, you know, do what I do, wait till last minute But I'm turning 27 and my birthday on the 27th, so it's actually my golden birthday I'm trying to put together something super nice I'm struggling with it, man and I'm, not, I'm not trying to put that on nobody else But yeah, I'm struggling with it right now I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do for my birthday Because a lot of plans is falling through with COVID restrictions But I'm trying to put something together super nice I want to bring y'all some dope content from the B-Day weekend as well I still did not forget to get y'all the veneer content I'm transferring a lot of my content from my phone to my PC So I will get you guys a veneer vlogger when I went to Columbia and got that done But for right now, I'm struggling with this birthday thing man just trying to make it make sense 
And I hope I can do something nice Cause I don't know if a lot of people out there Take their birthday serious But I know me Like I'm turning 27 I'm from Chicago A lot of people don't even get a chance to see what 21 look like And we dang sure know A lot of people can't smell 30 So th that's something that's dope to me I'm getting a chance to outlive a lot of the legends from my city And not only li outlive the legends from my city I'm starting to show people that there's a form of longevity As long as you can stay completely locked in Or whatever you doing You have a purpose behind what you are doing You have an end goal to it all you'll always be able to see it out and you just got to stay out the way you got to keep your head up and at the end of the day you got to watch people I mean, it's a sad truth but that's what america is you know anytime i'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all not a lot of people come from the urban area that i come from and people will take you out your glory just because you're doing something that they not doing stay focused stay around the right crowds and at the end of the day always have fun remain humble and continuously ball in whatever industry you interested in that's some of the best advice i could ever give you don't let nobody stop you from doing whatever you want to do and don't let nobody take your dream away from you see it through stay consistent Consistent, keep putting the shots up And I promise you everything gonna fall into its place You know we in a different lane In a different space in life Let's prove to these people that we hit a stay So my next step is to go in using my M spritz I'm spraying it on the top of the lineup I'm spraying it on the, on the top of the beard and everything I just wanna ensure that I can get his hair locked in My next step is to go in with my trimmers Hitting the back of the beard line Ensuring that I can get a nice clean straight line In the back of the beard line Clean, working my way to the front now, working myself all the way to the corner of the client's lineup because it's kinky hair. You can't always, you know, think that you're gonna get a super crazy crispy line. Certain people's skin react different to certain trimmers, certain people hair react differently. Now there's not no super straight hair, so the lineup is gonna do something completely different. But at the end of the day, you know, we do what we can with whatever come in the shop and whatever we get our hands on. So just stay consistent. And as you guys can see, I'm putting nice, clean, thin lines and ghost lines on this lineup. And I, I still kind of got a little oil on my clippers because these is when they were super new. So they came fresh out the box with a lot of oil on them. So I'm not getting that crazy, crispy effect, but it's all cool. I just want to ensure that I can get my clients lined up straight and I could get majority of this hair intact just because everybody lined up ain't straight naturally. And you got to create some type of realness to people line up. You want them to be contoured to their head and you also want to ensure that they line up and everything come out super clean. So at this point, as you guys can tell, I got my boy looking good, super clean. We finna go ahead and spice it up. We finna add some sauce to it. So I use my boy Sean Cuts Hair Color Enhancement Card and I'm going behind it with a temporary hair color using hair fibers. Just giving it an extra pop flare and flash. I don't know what I like to do. My client don't really get color anyway so this was just a way to work him into a different level of color like when they not always a color person or they don't get a lot of color naturally i don't overly work myself with just throwing uh, different amounts of color on the hair i like working them in with the more temporary things first just so they can see what it look like and the next time i cut their hair you know we just take it up another notch another level so my next steps is to go in with my pencil and i'm gonna create a nice contrast outline concealed line around the lineup i'm gonna get his hair cut some contrast i'm gonna give it some pop some flush some flash y'all know who i am when it come to my channel i'm gonna get them as crispy as possible but i'm gonna also solidify hard lines and i'm gonna ensure that that client come in here looking better than they left and that's the objective behind my chat is to instill confidence within every haircut that sits in my chair my next steps is to go in using my babyless fx's and i'm gonna hit these lines and i'm gonna spread this color create nice contrast throughout the lineup ensuring that it give it that pop flare and that flare just for Kodak moments, this is when I take my pictures, as you guys could tell. Look at this. This is looking crazy, bro. Clean. My next steps is to go in. I want to add some sauce, some flavor, and some flat. I'm creating a nice freestyle design because it was just something that I wanted to do. I told bro, hey, you know, I ain't cut your hair before. This been my homie for like six, seven years, but I ain't never had a chance to cut his hair. We in two different parts of the cities. He slid down, so I said, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just add some pops, some flair. And designs to me is just literally whatever comes to your mind, whatever's basically in your hands at that day. So as you guys can tell, I'm creating nice lines and I'm just trying to ensure that I could create a nice dope design within this side panel. It's a big objective for me. It's making sure that I could get one of my dogs something super clean. 
And just, just by speaking on it, my boy Floyd came down and just supported me, bro. And that's what it's about. You know, you support the people who you genuinely rock with. And bro came down. He let me record it for YouTube and all. And I just thought it was dope. I want to give y'all some different content anyway. I get a lot of tapers. I get a lot of wave and haircuts. Because that's just what they do in Chicago. A lot of people get simple haircuts in Chicago. A lot of people ain't into fades and things of that nature. But the first chance that I had, I decided to record it because it made sense. So I'm going to add some color to it. So I give it some more pop, some more fluff. And I just want to give it a more darker look. Seeing that the side of his head is a .5. And now I'm going to go right back in there using some of my sharpest pair of trimmers and reiterating myself and recleaning this lineup re-establishing dominance in this haircut and i just want to ensure that my boy will be clean like this gonna be something different he ain't had a design before so i might as well just switch it up and get my boy something he ain't had before that's the objective the haircut was free anyway like i just figured this haircut was free and it made sense for it to be completely free like I'm leaving Chicago real soon My dog first haircut And I wanna get YouTube as much value I wanna be able to record as much as possible So sometimes I do throw in a free haircut or two It don't really bother me At the end of the day, this is what I signed up for And I signed up to give you guys education And be a dope educator on here my next step is to go in by stretching the skin, angling that razor at a 45 degree angle. As you guys could tell, my boy said at the beginning of the video, he wanted the beard like in a five o'clock shadow. He just wanted it nice, ghostly lined up. But at the same time, he wanted a nice, clean, thin line on it. So as you guys can see, I'm getting surgical in this area. Y'all know the razor is my favorite thing. And when it comes to beards, I'm untouchable in that area as well. I like the cleanliness look. So that's what I aim for. I aim to just get my client as clean as possible and I just want to ensure that I could give my clients everything that they ask for that's the biggest thing consultant to me I like to execute on the consultant that I do with every client I just want to make sure I could get them exactly what they ask for and there's no problems at all and it's clean and as you guys can tell this clean angling that raise at a 45 degree angle stretching the skin bringing everything back to its highest point getting a nice clean line on this Super clean. It's unfortunate that we get clients that come in the shop like this, man. Like my dog looking crazy right now. But as barbers, it's up to us to change that outcome. And I wouldn't be beam if I didn't give it up this way. Y'all know how we give it up. Let's lock in. Hashtag TBT in the comment section. Hashtag Glass. Hashtag Glacier Gang. It's 2021. It's year of transformations. And I'm overly in my bag today. If you're able to make it through this video, please like, share, subscribe, comment. Hit that notification bell to get alerted when new videos come out. And may God bless. <laughs> I'm like, man, I'm going to say that. What you think, my boy? Hey, no, I, I trust you. Yeah. <laughs> you going out there, man. You, you chill. You know, see the design, you can look at that man. So you kind of like lean your head back, son. That's all I'm asking you to do. Turn it a little bit more, you see it? Man, bro, that's what's Yes, sir. I didn't even know it. You just been operating All right, YouTube. Y'all been asking for a little fade or a fade all the way around. So hopefully this video was helpful. Without further ado, it's time for me to get about this joint.